You're watching News 4 Nashville at 4. After nearly two years now, there is no need for a full floor at Vanderbilt University Medical Center to be dedicated to COVID patients, COVID hospitalizations. They are down across the country. And aren't we glad? Yes. News 4's Brittany Weiner spoke with doctors and nurses on the front lines who've really been doing that since the start about their hopes for the future. For the past 18 months, the walk across this sky bridge at Vanderbilt University Medical Center has been a bit of light before the darkness that came on the other side of these doors. And I came on at night, so there's usually, there was a very pretty sunset usually happening. I would, t I would pause every day before I went on the unit right here and just kind of look at the sun, take a deep breath, and walk into chaos. <laughs> Kristen Wynn is a registered nurse at Vanderbilt who came onto the COVID unit with the very first patient. A lot of them stick with you. You remember names, you remember faces, you remember family members over the phone, you remember family members on Zoom, and it comes back to you at waves sometimes. Heavy memories that stick with many frontline workers. We remember patients that we spent a lot of time with who unfortunately didn't make it. Dr. Todd Rice led the COVID ICU operations at Vanderbilt. This was the, the first month or so, the ICU was the beds that were behind these doors to the other side. And then as we got more and more patients, we kind of had to expand and we expanded outside of these doors all the way down the hall, all the way in down the back hall and took over the whole uh, floor as an ICU for our COVID patients. At the height of COVID waves, there were two patients to a room. We were loaded up with COVID ICU patients. There were alarms going off constantly. There were ventilators going off constantly. It was definitely rough and it was very, very busy and patients were really sick. Hard to imagine now, almost two years later, as Vanderbilt gives us a look at the former COVID unit, now a much calmer space. You don't hear the ventilators going off. You don't hear the um, um, red alarms going off. It's easier to breathe now. <laughs> As it wasn't? No. I think we were holding our breaths for a long time. Hopefully putting the worst of it behind us and crossing the bridge into a brighter future. The COVID unit was actually a new area of this hospital, which was completed just before the pandemic began. Dr. Rice says it not only added more space for them, but had rooms that with just minor tweaks could increase ICU capacity. Now with few patients hospitalized, Dr. Rice says the focus is on what they've learned over the past two years. They say we're not out of the woods just yet. Vaccines and masks, they are still so important. For News 4 Nashville, I'm Brittany Weiner.